Hey everybody, my name is Eric Hopkins and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So there's been a lot of talk going on within the last week or so about Mortal Kombat, the new Warner Brothers movie coming to theaters and HBO Max on April 23rd. And the movie has already been released overseas. Um, it will not be released here in the United States until the end of the month. Um, and there's there are spoilers out there. I'm not going to get into any spoilers or anything like that. Because, first of all, I don't want to know them. Uh, second of all, um, I don't know them. And then, two, um, it just, you know, I wouldn't feel right ruining it for anybody else, obviously. But the there's a lot of speculation and talk going on that the character in the film, Cole Young, um, is the, cent the, the central character in this film. Um, which is not making a lot of diehard Mortal Kombat fans happy. Um, I, as long as it's a good movie to me, I think that's not a big deal. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not the biggest Mortal Kombat fan in the world. I do enjoy the games and I enjoyed the first, the first movie, the, the 1995 film, the Mortal Kombat Annihilation was not as good, but even as a gamer back in the day, you know, I had the Mortal Kombat games and I did like those first two films for what they were, uh, silly, dumb action you know that's what they were um but there's a lot of talk about the new mortal Kombat movie especially in, re in regards to the cole young character because that character is not in any of the games from what i understand and a lot of gamers want the movie to be centered around one of the existing mortal Kombat characters and from what i understand this movie centers around cole young um again i don't expect this film to be anything you know outside of fun you know mortal Kombat fighting um and you know fatalities and animalities or you know whatever else they choose to do uh it's going to be bloody it's going to be gory to a degree and it, it's it should just be a good fun film to go watch uh and if you don't want to go to theaters to see it, it like i said it will be on hbo max uh but i don't know if i agree with the decision to base this movie around a character that is unknown. Uh, again, if, if the movie turns out to be good, it might. It, it's not going to be that big of a deal for me, um, and, and I can roll with it, uh, especially not someone knowing all the lore of the Mortal Kombat games. But I can see how this could be an issue for some Mortal Kombat fans, because if you introduce a new character when you've got this existing lore, I totally understand the fans of the games being up in arms about this. Um, and from all accounts, it sounds like that is going to be the case. It's going to be centered around this character. And um, now there are discussions about his lineage or whatever that is going to be involved in this film. But again, I'm not going to get into spoilers or anything here. Um, but I just feel like, you know, maybe... And I understand the the, the director and the producers and, the, and Warner Brothers themselves not maybe wanting to focus this reboot film... Or like a Liu Kang, like the original 1995 did. I get it because they've done it. Uh, but at the same time, I think that worked. That was one of the better points in those films. I think was Liu Kang was the was the, was the central you know protagonist in the film, and I think that that uh, worked. Uh, of all the things that did work in those films, I think Liu Kang did. And um, and Liu Kang is in this film as he's been in the trailers. And there's a bunch of Mortal Kombat characters in this film that's been in the trailers, and you couldn't pick any of them to be the central lead in this movie. I find that interesting. Um, but, again, uh, we'll have to wait and see. The movie comes out in just a, about a week and a half here, uh, and we're going to see for ourselves here in the States uh, exactly how that goes. But, again, I, I can understand why certain people are not happy about it. Um, so I just thought it would be an interesting topic to discuss here, and I'd like to get your guys' opinion on what you guys think about this. I hope you will comment below and let me know, um, but, you know, if the movie has a good story for someone like me, I think I can overlook it, but there are going to be a lot of Mortal Kombat fans who are not going to be happy about this, and I could totally see that affecting the, the success of this film going forward and the potential for sequels, but we'll see what they do. We'll see if they set up something better going forward with maybe, you know, uh, another you know character in the sequel um but i i don't know we'll just have to wait and see but you got to knock this one out of the park i think especially with the way the first two films did not do well 
critically and you know financially obviously the first was a bit of a cult classic to all of us but you know i think in this case you got to hit this another park in order to get more but what do you guys think please let me know comment below hit that like hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you get all the notifications about when i put up new content on my channel and until my next video take care